Scientists at Scripps Research, along with collaborators around the country, say that they have made progress in identifying a new Achilles heel of the influenza virus, which could lead to a universal flu vaccine. And we are joined by Juliana Hahn, staff scientist at the Ward Lab at Scripps Research in San Diego. Juliana, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So tell us, what is this Achilles heel of the flu virus? Yeah, so uh, what we do in the Ward Lab is analyze human immune responses, specifically antibodies, and how they recognize uh, their antigen. So in this case, flu virus. And it's for vaccines, it's important to make sure that you are generating the right antibodies, the ones that are going to be the most potent, the ones that are going to be the most protective. And there are multiple um, sites on the virus. Some are better than others. And characterizing which ones we should really target that can generate the most breadth and protect us from the most strains of flu out there is uh, what we need to do for universal flu uh, vaccine design. So in this paper, in this study, we characterize this anchor epitope, which is at the bottom of the, the spike protein that's on the flu surface. We see that everybody is capable of making these antibodies. So now it's just a matter of making vaccines that will be able to elicit or generate this response to this um, Achilles heel, this anchor epitope. Well, you know, from my layman's perspective in reading some of the material that you said in advance of our interview, it was, it was making it sound like the virus does not mutate the same way throughout the entire virus. There are some parts that don't mutate as much as others and that those parts that don't mutate that much, if you go after those, then you get a longer, you know, and a broader effect from your vaccine. Yes, that's exactly right. So right now our seasonal flu vaccines, they are very important and they're good, but if we want to protect ourselves from pandemic flu and we don't want to end up in, in a situation that we are in right now, we need to target the sites that are shared between different flu strains so that our immune system is ready to respond to any new strain of flu that it sees. What's the potential result? Would it still mean getting a flu vaccine every year and just having it work better? Or could it mean getting a vaccine and not have to get, a, get it again? Right. Well, ideally, um, it would just be uh, one vaccine and we wouldn't have to uh, get revaccinated. However, flu is a very tricky virus. Um, so it might be a case of needing a booster. It might be a case of uh, depending on age, depending on your exposure history to flu, you'd have a slightly different formulation. But we are looking for um, as many uh, to protect against as many strains as possible so that we only have as few vaccinations as possible. Do you know if the method that you've used to go after the flu uh, virus like this could also be applied to the coronavirus? Absolutely. Um, and the Ward Lab, uh, the lab where I'm doing my research, also has a SARS-CoV-2 arm. And so they are performing the same structural analysis of the human antibody response to the spike of coronaviruses such as SARS-CoV-2 and seeing what are the best sites to target and what are the sites that are going to mutate away from our vaccines and how can we generate those antibodies that are gonna be the most protective and that are gonna last the longest. So Juliana, what's the time frame? How soon could we see this new flu vaccine going into arms? Well, we've been, the, the field uh, in general and flu vaccinology has been making some really uh, strong advances in what we need to target and how we can target it, as well as um, through this uh, COVID-19 pandemic and all of the vaccine technology that has really been um, explored and advanced, we can combine these and hopefully we can have a universal flu vaccine soon because uh, we do need to be prepared for when these flu uh, pandemics will eventually emerge. Juliana Hahn is a staff scientist at the Ward Lab at Scripps Research in San Diego. Juliana, thank you for what you're doing and thank you for your time today. Thank you so much for having me.